what makes a vapor power or force circulation boiler different than a standard fire tube or water tube boiler? Today we're going to take a quick look at some of the differences, some of the benefits of using a force circulation boiler. The first thing that I want to point out is this pump. If you're familiar with boilers, you know that we've always got a pump associated with a boiler generally for putting water in the boiler. We would call that a feed pump. But in this case, this pump is not the feed pump. We have a feed pump. It's over at the deaerator. But this pump is a forced circulation pump. And it's doing a different job. So we're going to talk about that. Here we've got a steam drum. And on a four circulation boiler, this is our main pressure vessel. This is where we maintain a water level. And it's also where our steam is flashed off and taken off the boiler for use. So this has a sight glass and all, level control, etc., normal features, but it's just local on this pressure vessel. From the pressure vessel, we draw water into our force circulation pump. And this is one of the main things that makes this boiler different. And let's take a look at that. Well, this is a comfortable spot. Our high pressure, high temperature pump forces water into the first coil of our exchanger. And we'll go look at that from a slightly more advantageous point. So water enters the primary chamber coil and because it's being pumped, it's forced in circulation through this coil to the front end closest to us. And we'll have a look and see where that actually goes back out through the shell of the chamber. So water exits our first tube coil out to a manifold here where it's split into two additional coil sections that go back into the second portion of our exchanger. Here we can see those two pipes come in and, and form the beginning of our convection coil. That water flows into our convection coil and finally exits and heads to our steam separator or pressure vessel. Flue gases are traveling from the radiant absorption zone into this convection zone and travel outward through the convection to the stack. So that water is technically superheated at that point. When that water comes up this piping into our main tank, it's flashing into steam. So our steam's not being generated while it's circulated. We're just superheating the water at that point. But when it's released into this upper drum, uh, it's flashing into steam and that's what's generating our pressure. Appreciate you talking about the vapor, going a little bit more in depth about the boiler. We also appreciate Vapor Boiler for all their support that they have given us as well as this boiler in this lab. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter if you don't mind. Share a video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.